In this printing masterclass, we're going to be looking at colour management and how to get the best possible colour from your printer. And the starting point is actually to have a good screen display. And if we look at the screen now, we can see there's a lot of confusion on this. So let's turn off some of the unwanted items, like this garish screen background. And if we just right click on the screen, I'm going to turn off a few of the desktop icons as well. So we'll click on the show desktop icons and we'll go again to view and we'll show desktop gadgets. Now that's cleaned those up and we need to get rid of the turtle as well. So we'll right click and we'll go on to personalize. Now depending on how you've got your computer set up, you may have several different background sets. But what I want to do is look for a neutral theme. So we can go to desktop background, click on there. And now we can select from picture locations here. We go to solid colors. And now we can choose any one of these solid colors. Now, my advice is actually to go for something very neutral, like a dark gray. Now this may be quite boring, but it will help you to establish correct colors in your images. So we'll click on that and we'll save changes. And now we can come out of that. So now we have the basis for working with color. And what we need to do now is to actually calibrate and profile our monitor screen so the computer knows how we're displaying our colors. And for that, you're going to need a colorimeter. Now colorimeters come at various price points. And as with all other photographic equipment, the more you pay, the higher the quality is going to be. In this group of three, we have an entry level color monkey. We've got the spider and we've got the i2 Pro which is a top of the range colorimeter, which also doubles up as a spectrophotometer. And we'll be showing you later on how to use this. Now, depending on which colorimeter you have and the software that's supplied with that colorimeter, your screen is going to look different to what we're seeing here. And this is the i1 profiler for the i1 Pro 2 spectrophotometer come colorimeter. I have several choices on the left hand side. We can display profiling, projector profiling or printer profiling. So now we can click on the display profiling. The white point, um, we've set this at D65, which is daylight setting and the luminance we've set to 120. And this is a fairly good setting to use for photographic work. And we'll click on the next button. And now we have to calibrate our colorimeter and I'll show you how we do this. Now the colorimeter comes complete with a white reference tile. We just open the cover off this and this is going to be setting the white point for the colorimeter. We press the button on the side and this is now going to calibrate the colorimeter to give you perfect white. Now once the calibration of the colorimeter is completed it moves on to the next screen and this is showing you how many patches are going to be measured in the basic setting. In the advanced setting you can actually select more patches which should give you more accurate colors but this set of patches will be more than sufficient for general photographic work. So now we click on the start measurement and we're prompted now to hang our colorimeter on the screen. Now the colorimeter is supplied with a weighted sling and we place this onto our monitor ensuring that there's no stray light entering the sides of the colorimeter. Once it's correctly placed, we can start the process of profiling the monitor. Now a series of color patches will be fired on the screen and the colorimeter will take a reading from each of the patches and then later on it will compare them to a reference file. Any slight deviation in color will be compensated for in the actual monitor profile. And that monitor profiling took approximately seven minutes although we speeded up the video for the purpose of this demonstration. We can now look at the color chart and the top left hand corner is the actual color and the bottom right hand corner is the measured color. So we can see how much the monitor was out compared to the original colors. Now what's, what's going to happen now is that the profile is going to alter the lookup table. The colors are going to be adjusted so this gray has got a little bit too much cyan in it. So what's going to happen is 
the lookup table will neutralize that cyan cast so hopefully we'll get a neutral gray and likewise any of the other colors each deviation that's been measured will be compensated for in the profile so we click on the next button and now we're asked to give our profile a name you could actually use today's date so you know exactly when it was created so we put in the 10th of January 2013 and we'll be reminded in four weeks time to reprofile the monitor you don't actually need to profile it too often once a month will be fine for the more meticulous worker they may want to profile their monitor once a week or once every fortnight but four weeks for most LCD screens is more than sufficient and now we just create and save the profile and the profile is being created. Now you may be wondering why I've gone into so much detail on monitor profiling in this printer masterclass. Well basically the monitor is the window to your photographs and if you're not seeing the colors correctly on your monitor then there's going to be very little chance that you're going to be able to reproduce those same colors on your printer so it's actually vital to ensure that your colors are absolutely spot on on your monitor mm -hmm.